Greetings, this is This and I Me, and I've got a new blueprint to unlock, so let's just do that right away. Print it up. What's it gonna be? A camping cot. I... I do I have that? Is that the thing? <sighs> or... Yeah, I have that, right? If we look at cot... Yeah, okay, okay. I have it, I have it. Well then let's um, just click on something, go to the blueprint, that brings you this place, and then you can get there easily. Maybe there's a faster way to get there, but I don't even want to just waste the time to think about it. Recycle this. Thank you so much. I have 12,100 filaments. Okay, well we're not using them, we're saving them. We are saving them for a rainy day. Um, last time we... We got May safely away from here, and we're working on, uh, I don't know, rejuvenating this place so that it's ready for guests again. You know, the uh, cleaning staff comes in and they clean, they scrub everything down, fluff the pillows, um, the, the, uh lords and ladies they they take a rest from all of their hosting and we get ready for guests once again surely so one of the things was the oxygen situation um it's it's operating a little differently this time than it was before but we've got this going at okay closed We've got that closed, so this will um, normalize once again, and we're pretty much restocked there. They're not going to need more than that anyway. Um, what else do we need to do? I feel like there's another like key point to like make sure we're uh, we're going to be having two people this time, so it's going to be scary. But we get the two people basically just because I don't have a someone who can pilot this and do the other things that I want to be done. But so that person, they come here, they just, um... You know what? We could have two rockets. Think about it, okay? I have the one rocket drop Ellie off here with the trailblazer module. So the rocket doesn't land. She just drops off here. And then she's just here. And, and we've built a second rocket, and that rocket drops her back off <laughs> with the trailblazer module. No, we don't need to do that. Okay, we land it. it she does what she needs to do, and uh, the, then this, you know, the two things, and then we just leave. And it all happens quickly, right? So we don't have to wait for all of the unloading and loading stuff this time. Although, I could have just had them empty it out. I didn't have to have them do the conveyor rail system. Last time, I really didn't need to wait for that, but, uh, oh, it was less on this side that we were waiting for them and more on the other side, I suppose. Uh, so this place is pretty much fully explored, right? Unless there's something on these very corners here. We've pretty much explored this whole section because that's the that's the ground that's the floor that's the bedrock if you will I mean it's neutronium I could just call it that but um okay so the uranium though so you guys could a rocket could land here and could be loaded up with uranium as well but we would need a, a safe place to keep it yeah I don't know why I would want to use it yet though I guess for power or something like what is uranium used for i know there's like research tree things that have to do with it probably right oh and it's the exact things that i had already been clicked on um uses enriched uranium to produce radiation for rad boat production overheating will result in an explosive meltdown well that sounds like something i don't want to try <laughs> um blah 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 well Oh, okay, let's see. Injects rad bolts into a reaction chamber to propel rockets for long-range space exploration. 
So you can make a rocket powered by radiation with a rad bolt engine, and it can go long distances, but they're kind of making it sound like hydrogen engines can also go long distances. Which, okay, we also have a lot of hydrogen here. That's something that we could export as well. But I can't really... Okay, well, no. They could just have a hydrogen rocket here. But then they have to be skilled at all that stuff, you know? Not necessarily. I could have a pilot fly the rocket here, land, and take off in a different rocket. <laughs> a hydrogen-powered rocket from here. It's just that... I mean, I do have a lot of storage for hydrogen that all got emptied out. So I suppose that is yet another factor to consider. We could bring hydrogen through here and have it get emptied out into one of these. That's kind of a crazy thought. Okay. Okay. Sure. We'll consider that for our next trip. Like, after this trip. But yeah, it seems like the main, like, if I remember correctly, the main thing that was holding us back from being ready to go again was actually here trying to get all of the carbon dioxide out of this place. Okay. Which they're still working on extremely, extremely slowly. Okay. Sure. So the next, next time, we take out the Trailblazer module, we switch it for... Will they even show me here? We would be switching it for... I... No, no, no. No, no. Gas cargo canister. No, a large gas cargo canister, if they would allow it. I don't want to click on it right now because I don't want them to move everything around. And then we'd fly over there. We would fill that up with hydrogen. And then we would come back and we'd have to empty it out with a pathway down here to one of these. Which would be annoying because, yeah, there's already a lot going on over here. But I guess we'd have to make it work. Yeah. Honestly, I could, I could build like a channel through here that gets closed off. And that's more of a straight shot down. It's possible. Oh, I'm moving water. That's right, that's right. Okay, cool. Look at how much water we're moving down this way. Oh, that's beautiful and lovely. Okay. So... Yeah. We're doing all of the things that we need to do. And everything's great, and it's not unbelievably cold. Especially once I got rid of the Weezwort. The re Weezwort was doing work. I didn't even... I kind of thought it was probably pointless because it was so cold over here all the time anyway. But I think it really was doing a lot of work to keep that section cool. Um, but we've gotten rid of it for the time being to warm everything up so that I can maybe send some more cold water through without feeling bad. Um, should we have them send through one more thing of petroleum? I suppose... Why not get more petroleum any and every opportunity that you can, right? This is for carbon dioxide. Are we going to be struggling with the carbon dioxide, or will it build back up eventually? Uh, where is it coming from? Oh, I kind of undid all this. So it's not coming from anywhere. Well, then where does it go? Uh-huh. Goes into here. And it goes into storage, and then directly out of storage. Oh, yeah, no, it's going up here. Good, okay. Oh, but a lot of it probably just goes to this thing. I mean, 50% of it, but... I wonder if they ever use the soda stuff and all that. Um, oh, none of it's going that way. Well, that's output. Oh, 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 okay, perfect. Well, good. Then yeah, it's, it's gonna fill up. It's not going to fill up quickly, but it's going to fill up. Oh, and yes, we've got a Sweetle again. Elderly, confined, mood, miserable. Why? Uh... Oh, no. It's wallowing in despair. No, 
no, no. But it's not confined. It they only are confined when they oh they're satisfied as long as they're not going through the critter ladder. Well, just don't stand there. <sighs> Stop! Why do you just keep? What? What are you doing? You're choosing to go in there. You can step over here and everything, right? Why do I even have this this spot blocked? I don't know. But I mean, yeah, it can reach everything. It's those are sweetle tended. That one and that one. They're sweetle tended. Can we get a pip up here and have it plant some more of these? Uh do I have a lot of, a lot more of those seeds? Grub fruit. Grub fruit, grub fruit. Okay. I'm going to get a storage bin. Pips, they can go all everywhere, right? All across the whole thing. Okay. Uh, we'll put a storage bin on one of the tiles that can't have things planted on it. We'll make it a cute, spicy purple color. And that's going to hold... Oh, yes, and you're right here. Perfect. That's, that's, that's great news. Okay. Uh, so we're going to wrangle one of you guys. I mean, I could wrangle both of you and have it be even faster of a situation but okay we're gonna wrangle you we're gonna we're gonna move you up there probably maybe and this bin is getting built right now okay and that's gonna have uh what are these called grub fruit grub fruit grub fruit seed okay grub fruit seeds are gonna go in there do we have any grub fruit seeds? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe. Are you gonna bring this dude up there? Who's gonna bring that dude up there? Anybody? Somebody, anybody? That can't have seeds, that can't have seeds. Can any of these have seeds and they have grub fruit in them? I think the seeds are like somewhere down here or something. Most things are organized around here, so there must be seeds somewhere that's salt it's lime uh ceramic that's the suits did i already click on this one uh, carbon copper um i'll find them i will find them some somewhere there they've got to be here oh maybe here this one seems kind of miscellaneous i mean it, it has miscellaneous but it doesn't have <laughs> it doesn't have seats there no there no there no, here, no, um, goodness, this one, uh-uh, that one, no, how about this one, uh-uh, oh, what about one of these ones, is there ones in here? There's nothing in there, we don't have room for that, there is one in here, aha, okay, no grub fruit seeds, they're not allowed, I have 81, oh, perfect. Uh, we will build an empire. We are going to have... Oh, and there's an egg down here. Yes. Okay, good. So they're not going to die out. <laughs> we are going to have so many grub fruit up here that are just naturally planted. It's going to be lovely. Catalina, you are on the ball. Yes. Okay. The pip will go over here. It will take the grub fruit seeds. It will eat them, and then it will plant them throughout. And then it will die. But the Sweetle, hey, the Sweetle will be here. I mean, this Sweetle's gonna die as well. But I'm gonna put a, a new Sweetle or egg or something up here, and everything will be great. We technically could have room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if they could fit one there. 9, 10, 11, 12. Unless they can't be planted in sand, in which case we only have room for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, maybe? I mean, if it can be planted on copper ore, I feel like it should be able to be planted on sand. You think? I don't know. Yeah, I keep seeing you, like, putting ones in your mouth, and then... Why are they not planted? Okay, can we lower the priority here, guys? 
Or you know what? No, they don't even need to be in the bin anymore. The bin is pointless now, right? These will just sit here and no one's going to touch them, right? No one is going to touch those seeds except for the pip. If you guys touch these seeds, I'm going to be upset. So don't touch the seeds, okay? Okay. Um, Let's go back up here. Is it paused? No, it's just quiet. <laughs> okay. Uh, How's it... How's it hanging? How's it going? Oh. It's it's getting there. It was like 300 before. Now it's only 100, right? That's better. That's better. Okay. We'll just consider that better and we'll be fine. They don't have any data banks. We need to go and use our rocket for good to get data banks. How are they going to do that? I don't know. <gasps> yes! Guys, we got another one! We got another one! Okay. This is great news. Great news. Um, I don't think you guys want the printable. We got 23,060 stressed, whereas here we got 39,060. 2% stressed! Okay, you guys can have it. <laughs> no, you can have it. Uh, hmm. I don't think I need algae for anything, so I guess we'll get the pip eggs. Um, the more critters we can make sure don't die out, I guess the better off we'll be, right? Has this ever been, uh, inspected? Oh, dude. How did I never inspect this? View entry. Uh, cryotag safety. Important operating instructions for the cryotag 3000. Do not leave the contents of the cryotag 3000 unattended unless an apocalyptic disaster has left you no choice. Ensure that the Cryotank 3000 has enough battery power to remain active for at least 6,000 years. Ooh. Do not attempt to defrost the contents of the Cybertank 3000 while it is submerged in molten hot lava. <laughs> Use only a qualified Gravitas Cryotank repair facility to repair your Cryotank 3000. Attempting to service the device yourself will void the warranty. Do not put food in the Cryotank 3000. The Cryotank 3000 is not a refrigerator. <laughs> okay. It's, yes, that's... That's valid. Uh... Do not allow children to play in the Crowd Tank 3000. The Crowd Tank 3000 is not a toy. Also valid. While the Crowd Tank 3000 is able to withstand a nuclear blast, Gravitas and its subsidiaries are not responsible for what may happen in the resulting nuclear fallout. True. Okay. Valid. Wait at least five minutes after being unfrozen from the Crowd Tank 3000 before operating heavy machinery. <laughs> five minutes? That's not long. <laughs> Each Crowd Tank 3000 is good for only one use. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. How do I... Oh, it's... Okay. It needs a minute. <laughs> Okay, let's close, close, close out of that. Okay, close it out of there. New log entry. Yeah, I, no, I, I got that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, not so bad. Do I have any more Sweetle eggs? No, I don't. Okay. I just feel like I don't want to. Oh, this is overheating? What do I do about that? What do you... I mean, what do you expect me to do about it? Next dormant season, 17 days. This is going to overheat for the next 17 days? I guess I could make one out of something better than cobalt ore? Is it in plumbing? Is it in... Uh... Oxygen? What? Okay, oxygen. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I could make one out of gold amalgam instead. Will that help, do you think? Deconstruct. Make it out of gold amalgam? We, we can try. Um. Okay. But yeah, my. I don't. I want every colony to have plug slugs. I want every colony to have pips. I want every colony to have sweetles. They're all so helpful. I mean, every colony to have hatches would be good too, but they're so hard to, to keep happy. Well, I guess maybe they're so hard to keep happy when I neglect them fully and completely and always. <sighs> that, that's maybe more accurate. Uh, here, you guys make, make one out of gold instead. Will that help? Uh, okay. So, yeah, but I feel like there's only one Sweetle here. I want one here and one up there. I, I don't want them to die out. But they might die out. I don't know. Okay, uh... 
They're making it out of the stuff, and okay, it's not overheating for now. This one will probably end up overheating, but it's not for now, so we're, we leave it. Um, is there anything else for me to do for you guys, for me to help you with, while I'm here checking? Or should I just leave you guys be for now? I mean, yes, the critter starvation, it is a problem, but... Uh, I think I'm going to leave them be for now. They still don't have the best water, but I mean, it's it'll do. For a, a pinch. Okay, we've almost got everything out of there. Uh, I wanted to put another thing up here. So, let's get that going. A da ding. And then we go. A da ding. Okay. There we go. Now, the Philios. How's it going over here? The pips are absolutely taking over. They're so taking over. We've got two Sweetles. They're tending these things up here, but they're not tending any of the stuff down there. Better food would be good. Like, it's something that I, I've i considered trying to focus on. But here's the deal, okay? I don't know if I have whatever I need to sustain the better food source as of right now. I mean... We could have food naturally growing over here. But like, like you know, what food is going to be good for me to try and make the crop of this place? I have to decide that. I have to figure that out. Uh, am I ready to figure that out right now? Not really. I feel like right now I'm ready to just make sure that they're ready for the next intake of people. What's the water temp? 1.4. Nine tons. So is that going to just explosively melt at some point? Surely nine tons will fit in here, right? Why, why wouldn't it? They can, they can manage. Did the oxygen level go back to normal yet? Not quite. I guess it'll get there over time. Um, I have to make sure that you guys keep making food for yourself because... You don't always naturally do that, so let me tell you to make some. And what else can I do to help them out right now? Oh, they can make some barbecue! Okay. Yeah, somebody can have that. Um, I don't know, I, I think maybe here isn't the place for me to be right now. Like, there are things to do and things to work on, but... Um, they can be done later? Whereas these other places, I guess, have maybe more active things happening? Um... How many plants we got planted here? One, two, three, four, five now? One, two, three, four, five. I think so. Yeah, so you planted three more for me. This one, this one, and this one. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Pat, Pat, doing such a good job. Is this place a nature reservoir? I mean, yeah, okay, nature reserve, reservoir. Nature reserve, um, because it has enough plants at this point. So, if people come up here, they get a boost from that. That's really good. Do I have any other nature reserves? I don't think I do. Oh, look at that. Look at that power plant down there. Lovely. Okay, uh, well, that's good, I guess. At least our water supply is building back up, our hydrogen supply is building back up, you can see in these ones. You know, things are hopefully on the upswing, <sighs> I guess would be a good way to put it. Okay, this is filling up with more petroleum, that's lovely. And yeah, hopefully our food supply will start to be going up. Because we have many more grub fruits um, planted now. So... These, because they're not domestic growth, don't even need sulfur. You know? It's great. Absolutely just wonderful. Um, they are gonna be growing really slowly so it's good to have a lot of this crop because if they're wildly planted like this the domestic ones eight days eight days okay 
but we would eventually run out of sulfur, okay? Uh, I know we have a lot right now, but eventually we would run out. Uh, if I just have literally a ton of these, so this one next harvest is in 30.8 days. This one is a growth speed of plus 5% because of the Sweetal Tending. Yeah, so, okay. The Sweetal Tending is definitely going to be very helpful. I wonder how many plants is too many for one Sweetal. Like, if our Pip here can successfully plant in every single spot, can the Sweetal actually tend to all those, or would you need two Sweetals for that size of an environment? I don't know. Um, this dude hasn't got much time left. Uh, 3.4 days. Man, that's sad. Okay, we'll get another one up here then, though. When that happens, I mean, there's some right there. There's some more down here. Okay, well, one. There's two over there. They, they do still exist. There's a lot. There are actually a lot. Okay. Um, that food takes forever, but when we get it, it makes us, uh, oh, let me do, I guess, that. What do we get out of it? We get something, is it just the jelly stuff? No, not the jelly, uh, what do I get to make with it? Grub fruit preserve. That's the only thing I can make with it? Okay, well, I mean, it's long-lasting. Which is good. It uses sucrose, but we have a lot of that. And I believe the Sweetles produce that, right? So it's kind of it's like kind of like a closed cycle, a little bit. Okay, well cool, cool, cool. It's time for another blueprint! Time for another blueprint! Ding ding ding! Oh <laughs> what? Or else this <laughs> sounds like this sounds like a title for one of my videos. <laughs> the only kind of gift that poorly behaved duplicates can expect to receive. So it's coal ore. Titled or else, as in like, <laughs> you better behave or else you're going to get coal in your stocking. It's a Christmas painting. At Christmas time, I'm going to have to remember to change our paintings to the or else painting. That is... So hilarious and cute, and I would laugh harder if I could breathe through my nose, but I can't, so I know that that's just going to turn into some sort of suffocating mess, so <laughs> let's not. Um, I, uh, I, I didn't expect that they would have, um, holiday-themed paintings. There aren't any, I guess you can't really see there, there aren't any, um, did I say holiday? I meant to say holiday-themed paintings, but I might have said Halloween. What I meant to say was, I didn't expect there to be holiday-themed paintings. Are there any Halloween ones? But I guess the Screech, you could kind of argue, is kind of like Halloween-themed. But it's not actually Halloween-themed. Okay, uh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I guess we'll just leave everything as it is. What about the payphone-sized one? Uh, nah. These guys, they can't cross over gaps of two, right? So why don't I open this up? Um, and then I'll make it so that these guys can at least climb up here, and then this one can be tended to as well. As a wild one. I mean, for as long as these guys are here. And then they've also opened up some other debris of, of certain types. So that'll be nice. Um, oh, it can get up there already. Okay, cool. I thought I was going to have to dig more, but it can, it can climb too tall. Okay, interesting. That's a, a bliss burst that's probably just going to stay bad like that. Wow, you guys are on the ball with the eggshell. My goodness. Okay. Well, that's that's cool. Nice job, everybody. Nice job. Okay. Is it ready? Is this thing is this thing ready? Is this thing on? Uh oh my god, it is ready. Okay, okay. Uh so we take this we deconstruct it. Okay. And then we, uh, we go like that. Oops. And then we go, not plumbing, not plumbing. We go ventilation. We go like that. No, 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 not like that. Uh, no, stop. 
You're being weird. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Uh. Why is everything going backwards? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, no, that was, that makes perfect sense. Uh, no, we do want this to connect up. Yes, okay. So, okay. A put yes, yes! <laughs> it's working, it's working! Okay. We've still got our food in here. Um, we bring the mess table back. Bring the mess table back. Okay, and then this fills up, and it's, uh... It's fully ready to go, I think, right? If it has food, if it has the mess table, if it has full oxygen. Uh, we just need to make sure that the trailblazer module is in place and that it's fueled. And then we're ready, right? I don't know. I feel like we're ready. Maybe I'll, I'll manually save. Okay, I saved. That's overpressured, so that means this place is fully filled up. Let's go back to the main spot. Okay. Trailblazer. Oh, we have to get rid of the solar panel one. It's just, it's it's there unnecessarily right now. There's nothing for it to power. Is it there unnecessarily? I technically could leave it. Like, they're not yelling at me for having it here. It fits. I, I, I want to take it out, though. Um... I want to take it out because we have better fuel efficiency and stuff if we don't have it. And I just feel like, why why have it? I know the reason to have it. It's in case when I land down at the other place, I want to power something. Like, I want to use the pump to get rid of the oxygen or whatever. I mean, the carbon dioxide. That's why I should have it. But we should be fine. Uh, I kind of feel like the carbon dioxide was able to build up for a couple of flights, maybe. And we should be there for a short amount of a shorter amount of time. So I think it'll be fine to remove this one. Um So we remove that and then we get everyone ready to go. Um, okay, so how if I look we're having um Oh god. Is it Pei? Is Pei gonna fly us over there? So I know Ellie, she's gotta be in the other thing. Her morale is, is pretty high right now. Okay, she had a terrible meal, but other than that, her morale is pretty high. We like to see that. And so... Oh no, May. It was May. Sorry, sorry. We made it. All that, right. Okay, hers is really high right now as well. So, I feel like they're going to be okay to go again. Like, you know, they're going to be okay to go. They're going to be okay to go? Yeah. Are there any pilot hats? Uh, rocket piloting. Oh, yes, there is. Because I, I thought that I had one of those last time. Rocket piloting or rocket piloting 2. May, do you want to wear this pilot hat? To show how unbelievably cool you are? Whoops, I don't know what button I'm pressing, but okay. Uh, I say in the morning we go? I don't know, are we going to be ready? Okay, the suits all seem to be fairly uh, durable. We're still missing one, though. Do we have one to put there? I'm not sure. But I like the durability on all these. We're going to be missing two while they're gone, which is not good. But, you know, they'll bring them back, hopefully. Supposedly. Do you guys want this? I think Lefilio should get it. Because they're going to have guests. This is the way we operate. Okay, cool. They definitely didn't need that. But I guess it's fine. So we have one bed on the rocket for May. We have another bed here for Ellie. We've got the extra mess table as well. Okay. The thing that's going to take the longest is, I think, probably if I want to try and get this this research done. It's not done yet. They can't tell me, like, how far we've gotten with it. Is that not a thing? Uh, oh. That's cool. Look at all this information they give you. <laughs> uh, oh, they even tell you how, how old a building is. 
Okay. Wow. Wow. Look at all the information that I literally never, ever, ever use. That's so interesting. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I guess we're ready, right? Because this is ready to be refueled when we're, when we're done. Well, there still is kind of a bit of a carbon dioxide buildup. You know, it's not the best. Should I wait one more day? How much more will one day do? Will it do a lot for us? It could. It certainly could. Okay, I'll give you guys another day. One, maybe... 110? Nah, one more day. So 1009, hopefully if I remember, is when we will go. Um, okay. So... What else was I looking at? What else was I in the process of doing? Oh, did they get all the water? Yes, they did. Nice, guys. Good job. Okay. So we can mop that water. We can deconstruct this. Oh, wait. Did I want to drop this down? Yeah. Okay. Cancel the deconstruct. Um, we're going to dig this in like a down in like a stair step way uh-huh uh-huh yes beautiful beautiful and then they're gonna go again there and there and hopefully that'll that'll fix all of that and uh we're gonna have room to expand up here a little bit more if we want or down this way if we want Temps are not going to be... Oh, no, temps are fine. I was going to say temps are not going to be the best, but temps are actually totally fine. Um, wow. Okay, great news, everybody. I think we can uh, lower the priority. Uh, we, we can re-enable this. And we can lower the priority for these things. Yeah. There we go. Okay, put everything back to normal. I think our water will be fine for a moment. This is not cool, though. Can we not have that, you know, dot of clean water there? Thank you so much. Okay. Lovely. What was I... What? Oh, it's up higher. I was like, there's something to look at nearby. <laughs> yeah, all of this. So that's probably... That's not moppable. Okay. Well, then I'll dig that piece, too. We'll dig everything until all the water is gone from over here. And then I'll deconstruct everything. Uh, okay, wait. Why is there no power? Why is there no power? What's going on? Because there's tons of hydrogen. Why is it not coming through? Oh. These ones are for the lower section? These ones up here were the ones that were... Oh, the hydrogen isn't doing better? Oh. Those ones look like they're filling up because these ones are filled. Gosh. Okay. I mean, it makes sense to have four bins of this for down below if they were all filled. But when these are all empty, it doesn't make sense for the distribution to go so heavily down that way. I need, like two-thirds to go up and one-third to go down. Okay. Can I make a second? Like, I need it to- I need it to branch. Uh... Here's what I need to do. So, with our filtered output here, the the hydrogen gas, it comes out here, and it splits 50-50. Half goes this way, half goes this way. Then it splits 50-50 again. Half goes this way, half goes this way. So, in actuality, this bottom uh, supply of hydrogen storage is getting two-thirds, and they're getting one-third. I need the opposite to happen. So, I need it to split... Um, don't do... Th that. Oh, I know what I could do, right? So if instead of going down, if this were to go up, which there's no room, 
but let's pretend there's room. If this were to go up and connect here, it could split that way and then down that way. Yes, that would be better. All I need, oh, but we can't put a bridge there. I just need to somehow, I was gonna cut here, put a bridge from here to there, but I actually didn't want it to connect with this pipe. I wanted it to just sit, you know, so that it's crossing over this pipe. Bridge over that pipe. And then we'd have to bridge over that pipe as well. And then we could connect to that. <laughs> uh... Okay, well, here's something, at least. Oh, I can move all this mess over here. That would clear up some space. It's not going to clear up this being, you know, in line with everything. But... It, it might help somehow. I gotta figure this out, because this is a very important... Like, if I, if I make this change, if I make this move, it will actually help some things. So, deconstruct that bridge, and I might just be rebuilding these pipes, but deconstruct these pipes. Okay. I can make this make sense. Probably. Uh, somehow. So, if I bridge over this, then, then yes, that will be back to being connected the way it needs to be. But, uh, do I want to move this? I maybe don't need to move it. Can you bridge over a bridge? You can. Oh, thank god. <laughs> okay. In, out. Yeah, that's what we want. Good. So we'll put that there. And then the output is, is fine. Um, now, if I drop this down by one, that would give me some room to do something. But probably still not enough room. But I guess if we were to, to push this up as well, then we'd have more room once again. But so if I drop this down, I don't know how to get... Oh, I guess we bridge over there. Uh-huh. <sighs> okay. So I take that and we disconnect. This piece can be fully deconstructed. Um, then here it will be connected and we're going to be going like that and then we're going to disconnect here and I don't think we need this piece. We might need even fewer. But so then we're going to uh, connect this up here. Oh, so I need to... No, we're not going to connect that. We're bridging over that. We're bridging over that. So we have to disconnect here. Got it. Okay. So dis... No, no, no. What did I just tell them to do? Cancel that. Um, I thought I was on the scissors. Disconnect there. We bridge over that. Um, okay. And then... <laughs> then we bridge up that way. Okay. So here needs to be disconnected. Uh, on both sides, I guess. So, so see what, okay, we do that because then I'm gonna go like, Like that? Or do I want to do it with the bridge? So I have bridge to there. We bridge to there. But you can't immediately bridge again. So let's just go under. And we go up here and here. And we bridge there. <laughs> okay. And so this bridge goes there. So as you see... Hydrogen can go in, 
out into there and it also comes in through here. Filtered output goes in, out, in, out, and over to this point here where it then does a 50-50 split. So it's not two to three. But yeah, we do a 50-50 split. So 50% is going this direction and 50% is going this direction. Right? Whereas before, it was doing a 50-50 split, but then the 50% that was supposedly going to the like upstairs hydrogen was getting split and half of it was going to the downstairs hydrogen again. So, yeah, that was not good. We only had 25%. I keep saying two-thirds, but I guess, wouldn't it be... Because it had 50% and then it had 25%. Yeah, it was like a fourth. So now it's a true 50-50. 50 will go up, 50 will go down. Because, yeah, filtered, and then it goes there, and there, and there. And so then at this point... Oh, so wait, this bridge is the going the wrong direction. Oh. So I kind of fundamentally changed the way that, that, that I'm doing things a little bit. Now nothing is really going to the lower part. Uh... The outputs have nowhere to go. I mean, the inputs have no... Okay, so this bridge needs to be switched. Deconstruct, and it's going to go the opposite direction. In, out. There we go. I guess that bridge was connecting up different things before, but... I think this makes sense, right? And it's fine? Can they have, like, enough power to let this run for a second so I can see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, it's going. Everything comes through here. 50% goes down there into those, which can then output to lower down. And 50% goes up to these things. Okay. That should help us at least a little. Like, there should be a, a significant change. It might still not be as much of a change as we need to make. I'll monitor and wait and see. But it should be at least significant enough to see a change. Um, okay, let me mop everything here now. Okay, now that we know that it's all moppable, we come in, we deconstruct that. And that means we also come through and... I don't know, maybe just deconstruct this bridge for now? Nah, I kind of want to get rid of the whole pipe. I know they might just need to rebuild it again later, but I want to get rid of the whole pipe because I don't want it clogging up the space if I'm trying to look at, you know, new things that I want to be building and putting in place in other places, so please deconstruct all pieces of this pipe. They're super fast workers with all this kind of stuff anyway, so it'll be okay. Okay, we've cleanly gotten rid of the whole pipe. Now I want to disconnect the power as well, though. Um, are you considering this bridge to get... Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, yeah, we don't want the power wire connected either. So let me come through and deconstruct all of this. Okay. And that's annoying that that is like that. I don't want that. Okay, and that's all back to normal, and we have water. Did you end up planting any more plants for me here? One, two, three, four, five. No. But maybe at some point, you will. Okay. Dude's about to die. Uh, so, is there, are there no more eggs over here? Okay, then I'll leave you guys be, and I'll just take somebody else. <laughs> Should I take one of these guys? They're both grown up. Yeah, we'll wrangle one of these guys. It's going to go over here, and I'm going to have to make the max critters three. Okay. And it, wait, it can actually have a Sweetle, right? No, not there. Which one of these things do I click on? That one. I didn't, like, unselect them, did I? Okay, I did not. Perfect! Okay, I know, now it's 10-10, but I had other things to do. We're gonna launch the rocket next time. Because I don't want to launch it and then stop the episode. I want to be able to monitor the situation, and it's- it's- there's not enough time. 
So we'll launch it next time. Um, and hopefully all goes well. And I am, you know, I'm continuing to be a little concerned about their food supply over here. But they're probably going to get through it, right? I'm sure once, you know, now that I've made the hydrogen situation a little bit better, maybe, things will all improve. Okay, yeah, this is filling up. It's going to be fine. And with the water, the water and the power, like, not being constant, probably was slowing down production of things, maybe. It, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, okay, so that was the final checks there, Yakani. I know we didn't really deal with you much at all today, but I did fix your carbon skimmer. And I did have this, you know, empty out some petroleum. So that thing is going to have to refill again. Which is, you know, just another thing that went on. So we did those two things. And you have a little bit of water here and there. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Wait. Pardon me. There's a crisis. Um... It's too warm. It's too, too warm. Why is it so warm? Is it because we can't run the thing of a bobber anymore? I don't like how warm it is, guys. Why did it get so warm? How can I make it cooler again? Like, did you guys bring warm water over? Is that the problem? Can you bring some cool water through? What about the water that's supposed to get dropped off through here? Is that on its way to being... Nope. That's all quite warm, so it must have just dropped some off. Okay, okay, okay. Well, maybe it's a crisis for next episode. I don't really know what to do right now. I mean, the oxygen, like, the surrounding oxygen is dropping in temperature. No, now it's going up. Ah, uh, it's supposed to be dropping in temperature. Everything's supposed to be cold. Just make it cold again. Okay, they'll, they'll be fine until next episode. I mean, obviously, because the game's gonna pause, but... <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, and then Lefilios, final checks? Are you guys ready for your guests? How how did this turn out? Uh, it's still leaving something to be desired. I guess it's best that we haven't sent the rocket yet. Okay, but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye now.